Hi everyone, it's Terry here from nutsaboutstamping.com. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a very beautiful and quick and easy friendship card idea with the help of my Big Shot and the Happiness Blooms product suite. My card base is going to be Knight of Navy. I've cut it eight and a half by five and a half and I'm going to fold it on the four and a quarter mark and that's going to be my card base. Now I'm going to set that aside for a minute and I'm going to actually start with my Big Shot, which is something I don't normally do. I have a scrap piece of Whisper White and on the back of it I've attached a piece of the multi-purpose adhesive sheet because I want to use one of my well-written well-written framelits dies. It's the, the, I've chosen the die that says friend because I'm going to create a friendship card. So what I want to do is start off right away by die cutting my word because it's going to help determine the layout on the front of my card. And you'll see what I mean in a minute. So I'm going to use my magnetic platform, my bottom standard cutting pad, and then I have the cardstock with the friend on it and the multi-purpose adhesive sheet is on the bottom. And then I'm going to run it forward and back through my Big Shot. And the reason I'm going back is just to give it a second pressure so that hopefully it pops out of the uh, framelit very easily. If not, I will use my tool here to help me do that. Okay, there we go. Coming out. Never comes out easily when you're videoing yourself. All right, I'm just going to set that there for a second and I'm going to bring back in my Knight of Navy card base. And to that, I'm going to attach a piece of Call Me Clover. It's a layer for the front of my card. And I'll use my snail adhesive to adhere it. And then, there we go. And then to that, I'm going to add a layer of the Happiness Blooms Designer Series paper. I am absolutely smitten with this paper and I'm so sad that it's retiring. Now normally I would attach my designer series paper at the bottom of my card front, but not this time. I'll also show you at the end of the video what I'm going to do for the inside of my card because several of you have asked me to share that. So I remembered that this morning and I'm going to do that for you. All right, so. I've got my card starting to take shape. Now I'm going to bring in my friend word, peel off the backing, and I'm going to attach it. There we go. I'm going to attach it to the bottom left-hand corner of my card, and you'll see why next. So I'm going to use my daisy punch and I'm going to make some cord a coordinating daisy to match the pattern in my designer series paper. So I punched one out before the video began uh, just for looking at layout. Ouch. Here's a second one and I think I'm going to do a third one. If I did one daisy, it really doesn't stand out too nicely, but if you layer the daisies, then you get something that's really nice and full and fun to use as an embellishment. So I'm going to bring in my silicone sheet here and I'm going to attach my daisies together using snail adhesive. And so I'm just going to countersink, I guess that's what it's called, countersink my daisies 
so that they layer up nicely. If you wanted to add a little bit of height, you could do so by adding a Stampin' Dimensional. Um, and if I wasn't going to mail my card, I probably would use a Stampin' Dimensional in between each layer just to give it height off the front of my card. But that also adds bulk and weight to my card. So since I'm going to be mailing mine, I didn't want to do that. So I'm gonna set my daisies aside for just a second. And then I have two tiny pieces of the Call Me Clover ribbon. And I want to add these to my card front next. And I'm going to use a piece of tear and tape adhesive. And I'll tear off the front cover of that. And I'm going to have one piece of ribbon that way and one piece of ribbon let's see what that looks like yeah actually that's okay I think maybe I'll move this one just a little bit more strategically so that it's more like that no, I liked it the way I had it the first time. Yeah. All right, and now I am going to bring in a scrap piece of Call Me Clover cardstock, and I've got my one half inch circle punch, and I'm going to punch the circle, and I'm going to adhere it to the front of my daisy. And I'm doing this because I want it to match the pattern in the designer series paper. Again, you could use a Stampin' Dimensional to pop it up, but I'm very happy with how it's, this is all turning out. And I just turned around and got to my supplies. I am going to pop up the daisy using one Stampin' Dimensional. And I'm going to move it over just a little bit because I need room for my daisy to slide into my envelope. And there we go. Now what I would do is I would encourage the recipient to fold up the petals of the daisy once she gets my card so that it adds a lot of fun dimension. Several of you have asked me to show you what I would do for an inside of a card. And so this is what I designed for the inside of this card. I used a leftover strip of the Happiness Blooms Designer Series paper. And then in the product suite, there is this amazing punch pack. I'm crazy about this punch pack and it is retiring as well at the end of this month, which makes me so sad. But what I did was I went ahead and I created three flowers using my little punches here and Whisper White and Call Me Clover to match the design of the designer series paper. And then I used some mini Stampin' Dimensionals to pop them up off the, off the card layer so that when I adhere it inside, it'll just be a really nice surprise to see uh, when the card is opened. And it's a nice way to pull all of the elements together. Now, the other thing you can do is you could add um, an embellishment as the dot on the eye. And I probably will do that after the video ends. So if you want to head over to my blog, www.nutsaboutstamping.com, you'll see a final photo of my card. Um, and I'll also have a list of the measurements for the cardstock and you'll know all the ingredients that you need to have on hand to make this card. If you don't have this product suite, it is going to retire at the end of this month, at the end of May 2019. So you want to pick it up before it's gone for good. If you are not fancying this layout idea using these colors, try this idea using the supplies that you have on hand. I'll also have a link to my online store over on my blog. You can click on that and you'll go directly there and you can place an order for the products I use to make this card if you're so interested.
I'm Terry. I am Nuts About Stamping. I hope you'll create something beautiful today too. Bye for now.